like Murray in the longer rallies. He's proactive. He's not just looking to guide the ball to the Berrettini backhand and avoid trouble as long as he's actually trying to... You saying Murray gets grumpy? <laughs> occasionally. 15 on. 30 and 15. That's huge. British Davis Cup captain. He's going to have a hard time choosing his team this year. So many good Brits. Advantage, Berrettini. Yeah, at the moment they've selected four players. There's one more to come. Come really let Murray off the hook there, Berrettini. Delicious for Murray there. Drop shot and return. A cut spin there, he measured that one to perfection. It's a field fest. Two in a row. 30 I talked about him. He should be feeling confident after two wins, both on this court at a similar time of day. And he certainly looks to be feeling the ball. We're all pretty much guessing that's the last time we will see Venus Williams on this court. She's already lost in singles. Opening round was uncertain. Yeah. feel himself not just about power for the 13 seed you know Serena ended up winning one more point than Contevi <laughs> yeah that was a battle can I keep doing this can I can I still do it is it worth it yeah there's a good movement and energy to his performance now Yeah, he was he was taking coast to coast. That's a good slice from Berrettini, and there we go, the one-hander. Thank you very much. Matteo, the first to applaud it. Admit it. That's his fifth ace. And Colin, what did you say? How how tough is his second serve to get back? Did you say? I mean, you gotta feel almost unbreakable when that happens. Vintage Andy Murray. Who does it better? Oh, I'm not sure there's ever been anyone. I mean, Leighton Hewitt, he had a good lob. That kind of returning could force Berrettini to go bigger. Advantage. Berrettini. You know, get his first serve percentage down a bit. He wasn't even a sort of top 18, 19 year old, but it's been a process coming through the futures, the challengers. Wow! Totally mangled that smash. And he went in pro hitter. Well, thank you very much. A wry <laughs> smile from Murray. He Definitely likes the drop shot. But he definitely didn't mean this one. Almost swing and a miss right off the top of the frame. Gets the spin. <laughs> the fans and Andy are watching that one over again on the big screen. Murray was there. Oh, he's 
he's got a second opportunity of the set for the break here. Murray at full speed. We've seen him make those over the years, but not this time. on that second serve and there is the opening break last time it happened a slam Wimbledon 1997 Henman Petschi Andrew Richardson Greg Wazetsky and when has the Italian bench ever been as deep as it is now it's incredible the youngsters have so, so much depth and competition to play against Swing from the forehand Baratini side, lead. and Andy Murray four. stays Perfect. in this opening set. 26-year-old Italian, Matteo Berrettini. Another race, his eighth. Fifteen left. And both of these guys are are switched on to the numbers. Even these just saw. He's this mountains of data. He doesn't think that way. Game Baratini. Baratini moves, sneaking in. Got there, the Italian. He'd love to have that one back. Possibly had time to play it with a topspin forehand grip. Short again Second and set. finds it wide. 
you know, <laughs> yeah. to the team is sending a message that A, I'm doing what you want me to do, and exactly. B, maybe I want a little more from you as well. Berrettini did a good job getting that lob back into play. Murray was so nearly whiffed the smash in the first set, letting it bounce, didn't want to take it on into the sun, and then just kept Berrettini on his backhand, frustrated him. Did not miss this drop shot by much. Get himself into enough long points. It's warm out here, make it physical, you know, drag him around the court as he's doing. He's short on tennis, the Italian. This is why it's gone through the journey, long. the hip operations, the, the dark days, people questioning why you're still playing. This is why he's still playing. Big stage, big match, and producing the goods. You've got to love that, the passion, the fire still burns inside. your point in the, uh, the previous game about both these players playing like they 15 I, I, I had I had Medvedev, Alcaraz, Nadal and Tsitsipas to be honest this 30, probably your, your, your top four coming in Tsitsipas is gone Kyrgios is still around chance to make something happen here at 3-4 it's a, a combination of shots that will never ever go out of fashion Murray not quite getting the return deep enough, but then Berrettini just attacking the space. As in the opening set, the break handed to Berrettini with a double fall. Confirming what you just <laughs> said, Mary, the first serve percentage is not good. Oh, look at this guy. How tall is Berrettini? What are we listing him as? Meter 96. But he's got some feeling finesse. How tall is he when he hit that shot just now? how far back he is now. Murray. Got out of 
total. First game, third set. Murray in the long rallies, but the, I mean, the central problem for Andy is his serve and his return. Thirty forty. Stop. Dude, now that was smart. Just took some pace off the serve because. Well, I lost the point. I like the return position. Okay. Look further up there and move forward, cut off the angle. Got there with plenty of time in the end, just couldn't do enough for the backhand. Just too good, too yeah. big. Like, why don't you, you know, your schedule is so thick. Like, why don't you take time off? And Lendl said this. Lendl said, if I take off a week, Shot. Probably the most difficult shot in tennis, and especially hitting it this way. Back and overhead off to his left. Much easier to hit that one back cross court. Touch of class from Andy Murray. Three, but one of them has to be holding, sir. And you can win the U.S. Open if you can hold, sir, and hide a weakness. That number one. So you'd take the, 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 the serve. Yeah. I mean, Give the him a serve. serve over. If you have a serve like this, dudes, I'm calling yeah. everyone dude now. Maritini. You don't need it as big a serve. <laughs> Discussion for this title. Right? I mean, clearly he's playing with true belief. 90 miles an hour, that forehand. Yeah, real trust in his game. Same 
situation where Caratini knows he likes to go cross court with that forehand. Murray going against the grain and finding the target this time. What the don't hell use was that, that one mean? here. Oh, I don't even know what it means. Let's go with prime. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. All right. I'm in. Mean... Every day is a school day, Mary. Yeah. <laughs> True enough. It's way three times he's been able to get a long rally, basically, from the juice side. Off the Berrettini for a serve, it's been a real struggle for him. Yeah. Another Berrettini. ace for Berrettini against just one double fall. That's his 14th ace. And then when it's on, you see another hammer forehand. He, he's arguably the best of the rest, if you like. Four discussion for winning the slams before the, the draws come out, but you know he's he's maybe the next one that's capable of going deep. And the last time this guy lost to someone other than Novak or Nadal. speed it's not just ball speed it's spin as well whipping it around the court play a better Berrettini. point he got him on the move got him off balance yeah. I mean, are you kidding me just a rocket down the line we just got the official mile per hour three billion
seven games to six. Maritini leads, two sets to one. You see how close the restrooms are, right, off, right out of the tunnel. That helps. Of course, the clock starts once they get there. Okay, we saw Murray raise his game when it counted most. How much did Berrettini's game drop? Was it just the forehand, or did he just shake a little bit everywhere? I, I, what I do you think? It, I would put it more at Murray's end of the court. I thought he really raised his game there. Okay. Look at him up on the baseline. He went toe-to-toe -to -toe with Berrettini, and all of a sudden, this type of shot, the one that Berrettini was going for, he's out of position, he's off balance. Okay, he made a special one the first point of the tiebreak, but how many times can you make that shot, right? Just about power, we've seen it all throughout this match, Berrettini. He really does feel the ball on the strings. It's worth reiterating as well with Berrettini, he is short of tennis. Hasn't played a lot, particularly in this uh, North American hardcourt summer. Say it better than that. Wow, well, what a what a change in emotions from thirty fifteen. That's why I sometimes wonder is the umpire got the power to say, look. Two sets to one, and it looks like he's got more energy. Yeah, he really does. But the good news for Berrettini, if he is feeling a little tired. Berrettini's 17th ace. That's pretty slippery. Next match on Arthur Ashe. Madison Keys, Coco Goff. He's getting a little tired. Maybe the feet aren't moving as well. The legs aren't driving as much. Big point here. Oh, well, there he goes. <laughs> Just digs a little deeper, finds 40, the serve he needs. 30. Then he gets pushed back. the 26-year-old Italian, the 13th seed, moves on. He's the first player through to the, the fourth round of this year's U.S. Open, and that's what it means to him. That was a, a fantastic match. It, it, it had the potential, and it delivered.